All right, guys. In today's video, we're going to go over what the best crop in FS22 is. Um, these are the basic crops that you can harvest with a combine. I'm not getting into any of silage or production or uh, potatoes, anything like that. Just the basic ones. So wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, sorghum, corn, and sunflowers. That's the crops we're going to go over today, and we're going to compare. Okay. Um, first, I'm going to go over my methods, how I figured out what this is. And I didn't want to just look it up online. I wanted to actually test it myself. And then we'll have the results at the end that kind of go through the data, and I'll tell you which my personal opinion of what I think you should be doing and uh, some of the crops to avoid. So the first thing I did was I plowed a field. I uh, went on the server, I plowed a field. Um, that way it would all be even, all be fair. And then I took my planter and I went um, sideways and I would go use the AI to do it so it would be perfectly straight, perfectly even. And I would have them go down and back. I'd switch crops, scoot over, have them go down and back. And I did that for all of the crops. Um, that way, the fertilization would be exactly the same, everything would be exactly the same for all the crops, so the yield bonuses wouldn't affect anything, and it would be solely determined on the actual yield of the crop, which is the goal of what we're trying to figure out. Okay. After that, I um, went back through and I used the harvester, I harvested it, I wrote down how many liters I got, and then I did that for all the crops, and I did that for the uh, corn and sunflowers as well with the different harvester, because obviously you need a competitor for that. Um, but it was the same harvester, just a different header. Okay, and that will matter a little bit because um, it's a smaller header, so that does come into a factor later on in our analysis of the data. Um, after that, I look went on to the prices menu and I marked down the highest price that you could possibly get for each one. So this is best case scenario. I figured that's the most fair way to test it. Um, you're not necessarily going to sell it at the highest price every time, but I figure that's the best way to do it, and it's the most fair way to do it. So doing the average, we're just going to the highest. And um, also during this whole process, I was keeping track of how many days it took to grow. You looked that information up, but I just went ahead and did it anyways, because why not? All right, guys. So um, now we're going to get into the data and go into the findings of what we found. So right here, I have um, basically everything that went into it. So I have my days of the week, um, and I have this all color-coded, so it should help uh, to kind of sort out. Obviously, green is better, red is worse. So... Days of the week, how many days it took to grow, canola takes the longest, oats, sorghum, pretty short, which is good. You want it to be shorter rather than longer, especially if you're on a real-time server, that makes a huge difference because you don't want to be uh, sitting around waiting for it to grow, obviously. Next, we have liters. Um, the less liters it produces is actually better as long as the peak price is good because that means less truckloads you have to do, okay? So if you're doing a huge operation, that's half the effort of driving back and forth. It makes a huge difference, and you really notice it going from corn to, um, let me show this a um, corn to uh, say soybeans. Okay, stay out of the red, go into the green. Soybeans, very, very low. That's good. Okay, oats, canola, not too bad. Wheat, barley, and corn, not the greatest. Sunflower is pretty good. Okay, peak price. This isn't really, doesn't really matter. This is just kind of there. Um, the relationship between these two matters, but the peak price doesn't actually matter. Soybeans is the highest, um, but you also get the lowest yield. Okay, yield. I took the peak price multiplied by the liters you get. And then divided by that by a thousand is how the game does it. Um, obviously, green is the best. So from our data, we have found that um, soybeans is the most profitable per acre crop you can do. Not only that, but it's only five days, so it's a pretty good one. Um, corn is actually a lot higher than I thought it would be. And um, obviously, the wheat, barley, oats, those are pretty trash. Um, wheat's really bad because it's also six days to grow. But oats, you get only three days to grow. So that actually comes into play in a little bit here. Um, Southern flowers, not too bad. Corn, really pretty good. Sorghum, not too bad. Uh, especially on that three days, it's a pretty good crop to do. Okay. Um, so soybeans, though, definitely the best if you're on a 360 server where you speed it up. If you're playing real time or on a public server where you got to wait for people, I would uh, avoid the soybeans and go more for the for uh, sorghum. We'll get into that. So the last column here, this is the yield adjusted for days. Um, I basically took the total yield, or I took the days plus two because you need a day to plow and you need a day to um, harvest. And um, so you don't, you can't just do this total grow days. The other days have to factor into it. And then I divided that by 12, or I took 12 divided by that to get the basically how many harvests you can get per year, multiply that by your yield. So in all these cases, you're getting more than one yield per, per, uh, per season. So like the sunflower, you essentially can get two harvests in per year. Or uh, not so. The corn, or corny wood, we get pretty close. Anyways, 
So as you can see here, sorghum is actually the best for that. And now if we look at our data on why, it only takes three days to grow, which means you can get a lot more crops in per year. And it's a pretty good yield. You don't, you, it's pretty heavy and a pretty low peak price, but you can get twice as many in as you could another crop. So it actually ends up with the most um, money per year. Soybeans, very close coming in a second. Um, it's medium on the days per week, okay, at five. That's not great, but not bad. But it's also by far the highest yielding one. So you'll actually earn a lot more money doing that. Oats is not too bad only because it only takes three days to grow, but the, uh, the price is not great. So I would actually stay away from that. If you're going to do that, just go to sorghum, get a lot more money. Um, corn's decent, okay. Sunflower is not great. Wheat's really bad. Just stay away from wheat in general. It's pretty trash. It takes six days to grow for some reason. You don't get very much, and it's not worth very much, okay. Um, but in conclusion, what we can do is we can look at this data and I can kind of tell you what I would do. If I'm playing on a server where I can speed it up, I'm doing soybeans hands down, okay. It does not take much effort to haul it, okay. You can you can uh, truck it really quickly. Don't worry about that. Price is really, really good. Sells for a lot, and you yield by far the most. And even if you're on a real-time server where you're playing once a day, um, you're still doing pretty good because it makes so much more money. But if you are playing real-time server, sorghum is the best. That extra day you don't have to spend cultivating. Uh, I mean, uh, those two or three days you don't spend growing, you can get double the crops and it makes a big difference on the back end where you make a lot more money. Um, corn's not too bad if that's what you're into. If you're going to use the corn header, I would do uh, stick to corn. I wouldn't do too many sunflowers. It's not great. Corn's kind of better at everything. Um, but it is a lot to truck back and forth. And uh, oats is only good if you're on a real-time server. Otherwise, I'd stay away from that. Just stay away from wheat and barley and canola in general. You don't make a ton. Canola is okay. If you're on a 360 server, that seven days is not the greatest, but you can kind of use that to your advantage if you want to offset some other stuff if you're busy doing other things. Yeah, it's not the end of the world, um, but there's definitely better ones to do. Overall, though, I think you just have to do soybeans. Um, it's by far the most money, and it's pretty solid, and you yield the best per days. And because it's so low um, volume, you can truck it so easily. I mean, you don't have to spend much time trucking it at all, half as much as some of these other ones, which is great, and it can really increase your efficiency. You can get two or three or four combines going and you can actually keep them empty. If you're uh, far away from the cell station and you're trying to do like barley or something, you're going to be driving them back and forth. You're not never going to get it done. Okay. Um, but it just, it just makes it a lot easier. Um, less trucking, the better. Okay. So I would stick to soybeans. If you're not really worried about that and you want to just go for pure profit per year, uh, sorghum is the best technically. Um, it's not a bad option in general, but it is a little more work. And because it's more work, you're going to have to spend more time um, in between uh, day cycles with it. And um, obviously, if you're playing seasons, uh, you have to take that into account. But I don't play seasons. I just play normal. So I would stick to soybeans. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. If you guys think I should do uh, another video like this and try and find, talk through uh, what I think some of the other crops that you should be doing is, my personal favorite is uh, silage. I have a tutorial on how to farm silage. I think that makes the most money. I haven't done a test on it, and I might be interested if there's enough interest in that. But uh, overall, um, soybeans are the way to go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Peace out.